Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the books that made me laugh. Now, a little spoiler um, review, because I'm giving, you know, I'm reading the specific parts of the books that made me laugh, and I underlined specific parts, well, part, because only one part in these two books that I'm about to show you are what made me laugh. So, spoiler interruption if you guys haven't read the books that I am about to show you, which are... Dark Witch by Nora Roberts, and Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. So, spoiler content, don't watch this video if you haven't read these books. So, anyway, these books don't look like comedic material, but some of the, the parts of the books just made me laugh. And I'll show you guys this book first, because this is the very first book that actually got a little, a little chuckle out of me. And I gotta find the part of the book, and I found it. So to give you guys context of the specific scene that I'm about to read to you is that the main character is having her birthday, and her friends decide to give her a car for her birthday. And um, it's an old car. One that's over 10 years old, and the truth be told, wheezes like an asthmatic on damp mornings. So it's a pretty old car. You know when you um, um, you get in your car and you put the key in the little nozzle and then you turn it? It basically sounds like someone's having asthma. Like, <laughs> you know, just imagine someone making that noise or anything like that. It, was, it made me die laughing, I swear. It was funny. It was, it was really good. But this, this book as a whole, it wasn't horrible or it wasn't good either it wasn't bad it wasn't good but it was something I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 for the most part but anyway next up Never Lie by Frieda McFadden and this book I swear that made me die laughing and thank god my family wasn't home and I was all by myself while reading this book finishing it because my little brother had a soccer game and thank God they weren't at home because, oh my God, as soon as they, if they were at home, they would listen to my laughter. I was laughing hysterically. And this part of the book is actually in the epilogue. Funny, funny to tell you. So just to give you context of this book is that in the epilogue, the main character has a child. And her name is Delilah, and she's like a year old. And um, she picks up daisies for her mom, and then she look um, she sh um, shows the flower to her mom. And Delilah ends up calling the flower a flare, F L A R. And it's oh my gosh! As soon as I heard, as soon as I read that part, I was dying laughing because you know kids. Don't say, don't, don't repeat the words exactly when parents tell you something. When parents tell you something, hey, look, this is, um, like for an example, this is a canvas. And if the child just repeats it, con canvas, can, or just, they call it like, they call it in like some sort of weird, you know, pronunciation. It's, it's funny. It, it's just funny to me. You know, I'm. Kids are something else. They they are something else. And I know parents who have their own kids could say the same. But I don't have kids and I don't want to have kids. But if I had nieces and nephews, I'd probably laugh my ass off if they ended up giving me a flyer. <laughs> Whether it be a daisy, dandelion, or whatever it is. It's just pronouncing flower, flare. It sounds like someone's trying to say flower in a country accent. Like, hey, yo, Tina, go get me some flowers. Yeah. Get the dandelions. Get those dan Get those kinds of flowers. Get the dandelions. I don't know. It's just my interpretation of a country accent if anyone tries to pick up some flowers, you know. It is how I imagine it, for the most part. And, um... I don't know if I've ever said this, but spoiler, but spoiler content. I don't know if I said this in the beginning. I kind of forgot, but 
I hope I didn't spoil anything too much because, you know, if you guys want to read these books or if you haven't read them, don't watch this video because if you ever want it to read them, go ahead. But if you've read them and you've already, you know, seen spoilers, yada, yada, then good. You can watch this video whenever you want. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.